Okay, so what we are trying to understand is that why as the maturity of an option increases, why does the price of call option increase and why does the price of put option increase? So we are trying to understand the relationship. And answer to that lies in this one word called asymmetry of the options. Okay, so what does it mean? Now think of it carefully. Let us assume that you have two options. Both of them are call options. First with strike price of 100, second also with strike price of 100. Both of them have a premium P. So let me call this as P1 and this as P2. We are intentionally not quantifying them. Now what can possibly happen? Okay, so the maturity here is one month and let's say maturity here is one year. So as per the logic that we've studied so far, what we can conclude is that P2 is higher than P1, but we want to study why. So let's assume as of now that both the stocks are actually trading at the same price. That means as of now at time zero today, strike price of both the stocks is 100. So can I say at this stage options are at the money because strike price and uh, spot price is same. Now in one month's time, this 100 rupee, let us assume can either increase and let's say it can become 120 or it can become 80 in a month's time. Okay, I've randomly assumed this. But do you agree with the fact that in one year, the amount of volatility can be substantially higher? Correct? So in one year, this 100 might become let's say 200 or it might simply become 10 rupees. Let's assume 10, very low. Now think of it this way. If it becomes 80, is can we say that your option is out of the money? Correct. So how much do you lose? So we will have a loss only of premium because you are on the long side. We do not lose 20. We are on options. I have a right to buy at 100 price in the market 80. I am going to lose only the premium. If it becomes 10 rupee, how much is my loss? From 100 if it becomes 10. But I have a right to buy at 100. What I'm going to lose in my option? Premium. I'm going to lose premium. So here also the amount that I lose is also premium. If it becomes 120, how much is my profit? Ignoring premium at this stage? 20 rupees. If it becomes 200, how much is my profit? 100 rupees. Are you following this? That the answer lies in asymmetry. When you take longer maturity options, there is a possibility that it would increase or it would decrease by a higher amount. But even if it decreases by higher amount, your loss is the same. But that possibility that it might increase by a higher amount means higher possibility of profit. And because of higher possibility of profit, the premium is higher. Should I repeat this again? Hmm? See, when you buy a call option, there are what can happen. Either the spot price increases or decreases. So in one month, you know that that relative moment can be relatively lesser. So we assume 120 or 80, but in one year that moment can be substantially higher 200 or 10. If it decreases in both the cases, your loss is same. It's only the premium that you're losing. But if it increases, your profit increases substantially. So which means when you compare to a short duration, when you buy a long duration call option, then there is a possibility it might decrease a lot or increase a lot. If it decreases a lot, you're still losing premium. There's nothing to lose. So it does not matter how much it decreases. The moment it decreases, loss is premium. But it matters substantially how much it increases because if it increases more, your profit is going to be substantially higher. Are we clear with this? So therefore, longer maturity, more is going to be the premium for the options. Hmm. <laughs> See what you're saying is you take any stock today. So let's let's for that matter take nifty 6266. How do you think in a year's time where in a month's time nifty would go plus or minus 200 points at maximum? Let's say 300. 
but next year at the same time do you agree that nifty can be either 5500 or it can even be 65 or 7500 as well correct which means if you have a long term forecast there is more possibility of movement of prices in the short term it would always be restricted to limited set of prices and which is okay because in the long term prices move higher than in the short term so based on the same logic in the long term more possibility of profit but possibility of loss amount of loss is same longer maturity more is the premium most expensive premium so the price of that premium in in case of our option chain would be highest when we go to 2000 and 18 here but of course we don't have that volumes so we don't have the prices of now is this clear so longer the maturity more is the premium for the call options now let's look at put options let's say strike price 100 you paid some premium as of now spot is 100 this is one month put option same features strike price 100 you paid premium spot is 100 we have one year put option as of now stock is 100 in a month's time it can either become 100 or sorry it can either become 120 or it can become 80 but in a year's time there is a possibility we still don't know but there is a possibility that it would fluctuate higher so it might become 200 or it might become 10 if it becomes 120 or 200 or 2000 or 20000 you still losing only the premium this is your lo loss zone so no matter how much does it increase you are only going to lose premium but when it decrease to 80 you earned about 20 rupees here correct difference between the two but when it decrease to 10 you earn 90 which means that if there is a longer maturity there is possibility of higher fluctuation upside and downside if it's upside in either case you are losing premium but if it's downside your potential of profit increases substantially so longer maturity more is the premium for the options put option and call option both is it clear